All right, so I apologize for the poor lighting in my garage. Um, looks like I'm gonna have to set up lights. I just thought that this one light would would be okay. But this is a um, an update to what I carry to work. Um, I used to carry the Maxpedition Monsoon, but um, the one strap wasn't doing it for me. So I got the Pygmy Falcon, and I've been actually using this as a as um, the replacement for that. Um, let me just show you what I got here. And my bag's a little flimsy because I don't, I usually don't carry a whole lot. But I have these little lights here. Let me focus in here. So I got these county com lights that just hook on here. Um, and, I, and I purposely have this one um, slanted on one way. And then on the other, I have it straight on. So when it, when it rides high on my shoulders, um, I can see this way, and then I can see what's in front of me. Um, sometimes I put them like that, um, just to do the inverted. But these help a lot, especially um, in the in the at night and also in the morning because uh, when I leave the house it's always dark out. Also on the front got this uh, Night Eyes phone holder. I don't have my cell phone I left it upstairs but I usually keep it in the front here. Um, also behind it there's a little space here where I keep my um, key cards uh, for the office so that's already accessible. And then I have one more item here in the very front. This is the, um, I don't know what they call it, but I did get it from Countycom. Um, I'll probably annotate it on the bottom, what that actually is. And then I have an S-Beaner uh, with my car keys. And that's what's all in my front here. Um, nothing too much. I always have to uh, access my cell phone. Um, so I don't put it in my pocket anymore. I just put it right in front of me Just so I can have access to it. All right on the side here. I Usually have a, a water bottle here, but I took it out because I had to wash it and This is another County Com um, item in here. I Keep two Leathermans. I have a Leatherman kick uh, this is a little upside down, but let me get this in focus here. So I have a kick here. Oh, it won't focus. And I also have a Leatherman Wingman. And the reason why I keep two is because when I use the pliers, um, I'm always, you know, I can I can get by with one, but I'm always up against a situation where I have to um, use both of them, one on on each side, so I can tighten something down so I've been using this the most it's great got a lot of um, uh, thumbs down on this Leatherman wingman when I reviewed it because I thought it was made in China but oh well that's cool you know made a mistake I corrected it still a lot of thumbs down okay on the very top um, I never Whenever I go out, I, I, I never want to put my back on the ground, so I have this bigger S-Beaner, and I just use it to hook, um, like, uh, in a public restroom, you can actually hook this on a stall, and it'll stay up. Um, usually have a change of clothes uh, sometimes when I go to the office gym. On the other side, there's nothing. Um, actually, when I, get, when I get home from work, I usually... Uh, I usually dock my my EDC knife, which is a a bird metal lark, and then also um, my LD10 from Phoenix. I just dock it right here, and then when I'm ready to go out, put these in the pockets. All right in the front here, um, I did some other things. Let me just tilt down. Okay, so I know the lighting's bad, really sorry about that, but I have a county com whistle, and that is tied to um, 
some really cheap paracord that I got from REI. It probably can't hold more than 50 pounds. Um, I just got it because it was cheap and it was on sale. If I keep this here, uh, if I need to use it, I quickly unwrap it and then I pull it out. Um, in this side, I have a pocket shark made by Cold Steel. Um, the clip broke off. Uh, one of my friends from work was playing with it and dropped it on the floor and the clip fell off. But it's okay because it works out. Um, if it ever slips, at least something will catch it. Um, it's funny because I look at all her pens and uh, <laughs> all of her pens, the clips fall off. So I don't know if she just did it accidentally or whatever. So, first pocket in the front. I carry a Maxpedition wallet. This is the only thing that goes in my front pocket here. Oh. So, let's take that out. Actually, I'll put it back in because I'm going to be using it today. Um, other things that I put in here are like documents, mail, um, you know, anything that I can just put that's flat in here. Now here I put the most stuff. Um, let me pull it down. Uh, this is my vitamin um, case here. I do take quite a bit of vitamins. And <laughs> I do have this chicken salad that I got from the dollar store. I tried it once. It sucks. But in an emergency, uh, this is my emergency food. I also keep more paracord, probably about 10 feet. Um, and I still carry uh, this black diamond um, headlamp that's, uh, and I'm using a night eyes uh, uh, item just to keep that all cinched down. And at the very bottom, I have my mechanics gloves. Um, I've been using these quite a lot, um, even just walking. So when it's cold out there, I use these. Um, they don't really keep your hands warm, but um, I'm always like, I always tend to find myself uh, carrying heavy heavy boxes or wood uh, from time to time. Or if I had enough to work on my car, I just have these ready. And I'm not going to go through into detail, but I have three pens. I have a backup blade here. Uh, this is a CRKT Pazoda. This was actually from Big Five. Um, I think it came with a set. So I don't know how much this actually cost. I know it's less than 15 though. Oh, and this little pocket. Earbuds for the iPhone. And... PayPal. Um, never know when you come across someone owing you money and they have a credit card on them. Alright. Put all this back in here. Just show some shape. Oh, back here. Um, oh, this is a movie that my friend wanted me to watch. The Raid Redemption. Um, I think it's Indonesian. But there's some good action in here. Got to return that to him. I also keep hot hands, hand warmers. Now, I don't mainly use this for my hands, because uh, I do have gloves. But I use this for other things. Um, this really helps when you have like muscle cramps. Just put heat on it. It's great. I only carry one. Um, and also for emergency food, if I don't feel like eating the chicken salad, then I eat the chicken of the sea, pink salmon. And this uh, pink salmon is um, at the dollar store. One dollar. Not bad. Put these stay in there. Gotta return this movie. Alright, almost done here. So I'm gonna open the, the main pocket, or the main compartment. And... If there's one thing that I do the most, just 
salt down here. Is I'm gonna plug this back up. Um. Okay, so this Y strap, um, I keep on removing it and I keep on putting it back on. Keep on removing it, removing it, uh, and put it back on. And the reason why is that I keep it on now is because I now I realize what the purpose is. Um, not only is it supposed to keep the pockets down and close together, but um, I can also slip. Um, like a, a jacket here and then cinch it down. Now there is another option where you do have this bungee cord. I usually put my gloves here um, but I decided to put it inside here just for now um, but I usually keep my gloves here or something else and I like to keep this free because sometimes I don't want to go into the pack I just want to attach something real quick and it's right here. Alright now I purposely leave the zipper always on this corner. I don't I don't leave this zipper all the way down to the bottom. I don't leave it around to the top. I always leave it on this side. And the reason why is because I want to access the back the larger pocket with this Y strap still on. So I just go down and it, this is the same concept as with the Maxpedition Monsoon. Um, you know you only open the zipper one way and then you can access what's inside. So, I'm just going to open this up for you. And <clears throat> don't really keep anything in here um, except my. Um, I, I keep this as like uh, more of like an EDC. If I need to grab one thing, I grab this. In here, I have a CRKT spark behind here. Don't want to pull it out. Uh, it's already good there. I have a sharpener. And I have an S9 um, tie down. And in here, I can open up a little bit. And I just have a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so, um, uh, another multi tool nail cutter, uh, screwdriver. Um, let's get this in focus here. Always carry a lighter. Don't smoke, but I carry the lighter so that I can make more paracord. And uh, this is probably my favorite um, blade in here. I use this the most because I usually cut a lot of fruit. And then behind, there's just some miscellaneous items. I don't have a light in here, um, but I do have a lighter, so if I ever need to see. Okay, so this usually goes everywhere. Um, I have this paracord which I've been meaning to leave in my car but for some reason I just leave it in here. Next thing to the bottom, um, this is my my medical pouch um, and I have um, I, the, the one item that I want to feature that's in here is, is this. Um, I keep shot blocks in here um, just in case if I had to walk home and I, I can't use my, I can't access my car at work. At least I got that. And the, la um, the last thing in the bottom are these bath wipes. These are one dollar at the dollar store. Um, you know, it's funny, I laugh at people that, that, um, that always say, oh, I carry this because you never know. And this is probably my only, I you never know item that I have. Alright, um, I have a very cheapy uh, cell phone uh, charger for my iPhone, back here, I do keep a RAT3, uh, this is the non-serrated, um, I rarely pull this out, um, but this is for like my last, uh, this is my, um, this is the knife that I'm going to use if, if I need to carry something on my waist belt or on my hip. Leave that in there. In this pocket, don't have anything. Probably be my miscellaneous item. Or actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just put this here. Alright, now I got something in there. Alright, so the bath wipes, the med kit, all go in there. Paracord. Now one thing that's really cool 
um, I found a case that actually fits the very bottom that will make this shape even more. Um, depending on, on if I'm going to be going somewhere uh, with coworkers or with friends or somewhere where our phones probably won't work, my other option is to use uh, this Pelican case, it's the 1060. Um, it fits perfectly right here in the bottom. So it really makes a good bottom, um, especially when you zip it up. It fits perfectly. All right, let me just open this up quickly. This is um, it's something that I actually just leave in my car and then I, I pull it out and I put it in my bag if I need it. So I'm going to just open this quickly for you. And what I have are two uh, ham radios. Uh, the antennas fit right inside. But I usually use these, uh, um, you know, if, we're, if me and my wife are going to the mall, me and my friends, me and family, if we're going to be separated, at least there's two of these, and we can instantly talk to each other. Um, these are the Baofeng's UV-5R. Um, should really look this up. These radios are not perfect, but they do work. Um, you just have to get uh, the correct programming software, which I haven't. I'm using a software called Chirp. And put this all inside. It's hopefully this will stand up a little better. Oh, so the first thing I put are the wipes, then the case, then my, med my medical pouch, then my EDC, and anything that fits in here. I usually leave this open. Strap this one up. Go to the other side. And make it come around. See if they'll stand up a little better. I think with the water balls, it'll stand up a lot better. Let me back it up here. And wow, look, it stands up perfectly. So this is my replacement EDC. I've been actually using this for actually about a year. It's been about a year since I made my last video, which had my monsoon. Um, the monsoon I actually sold to a friend, um, actually one of my coworkers, um, and he loves it. He's ex army. He loves it. Um, he always wanted a sling pack. I got tired of the sling pack, and I just use the two strap. They're just a lot better because if I'm walking home, I'm about five miles away from uh, from home. Uh, actually from work to home and I can just at least walk with this and, and uh, be at least comfortable and then have everything really accessible it's not too big it's not too small um, I do put some clothes in here sometimes um, oh one thing that I really like and I, I think a lot of people already review this but this uh, sternum strap right here I really like this uh, this stretchy, so when you move or breathe, it actually uh, goes up with your chest. Not like the other packs where you put on the chest strap and that's it, and then it just holds your chest down. All right, so that's it. I'm Flip TZ. Uh, this is my work bag replacement. I um, I actually was influenced to get this from Roscoe. Um, she did a review on it, and I love it. Um, no more sling bags for me. Um, getting too old for the sling bags to walk five miles with it. Can't do it anymore. Um, and if you're looking for a work bag solution, I think uh, this could be a good option. Um, I haven't had any questions like, oh, hey, that looks too tactical. So it's been good. All right. Everyone, enjoy. Um, hope you get this bag. Uh, leave your comments below. And um, if I made any mistakes again, let me know and I will correct them. Thank you.